Come share the journey, the journey of success. Tune in the first week of every month and be encouraged as Michelle Bohm, the founder and CEO of Inspired Style Company, and Reagan Ward, the founder and creative director of Leslie Tyler Design, showcase guests as they share their success stories and their challenges. Along the journey to your success, there are many great adventures and great sights, but also detours and roadblocks. You can learn from it all and achieve your goals and dreams, whatever they may be. Hello, my friends, and welcome on this beautiful day here in Peoria. I'm Michelle Bohm, and if you are tuning in expecting to see me say welcome to Expire, Inspired, you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> we, but I know you won't be disappointed in what we have uh, to show you today. Again, I'm Michelle Bohm, and I'm here with my co-host, Reagan Ward. Hi, Reagan, nice to meet you, <laughs> formally. Yes. yes. I am so excited. Yes. This uh, used to be the Inspired time slot, mm -hmm. but we are changing our format and bringing you a new show called the journey, journey. Yes, yeah. the journey. We're, I'm so excited. I, I am beyond excited. Yes, yes. yes. So, <laughs> I, I, I always have like a little zippity doo dah in my step oh, yeah. when it's nice out. You yeah, know, when exactly. the weather's nice. Yes, yes. Which, yeah. So that always gives me a little pep in my step. Yes. But I would just like skipping in here today. Oh no, I'm it's, so it's excited. Such a, I think needed topic. Yes. You know, in terms of what we see and what we hear about in stories, I feel like this is like fitting that niche that it's just that. This doesn't exist, so nope. and we want it, so we're making it exist. Exactly. That's what exactly. you can do Make when you happen. decide. Yes, or, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, so on the journey, um, of course, this is brought to you by I've Decided, which is how Reagan and I met, uh -huh. and we agreed to do this when we didn't really know each other. No, I really. mean, But when Kim Barton really. asks you to do something. Right, you do it. You so. just don't say no. I don't. <laughs> We're two of well, the she, million yeah, people. Yeah, she'd keep, she'll just keep asking. Yeah, so, yeah. so it's you just, easier you to just say no the, or say yes the first time. That's right. You don't resist. <laughs> so, um, which is which is actually a, a point yeah. on the journey. You shouldn't resist it, right? Right, right, right. So, so, so we agreed to do this together. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to talk about the journey that we have had to get to this point. But... Throughout these episodes, we're going to bring them yeah, all of the amazing and things. Resources Correct? and yes. stories. So, like, you'll know the nitty gritty. I think mm -hmm. that's that's the thing that I feel like sometimes we glaze over. We mention, but we don't really get into like the hows, and we talk about yep. that. And I feel like that is part of the success, in oh, my opinion. Absolutely. I feel like that is such a beautiful um, part of it that you know you, you have to kind of cherish it and and enjoy the journey yes. just as much as you are looking forward to that that end result or that goal that yeah. you might have in mind so you see like the olympians on the podium yeah with their medals right and no but i want to know like okay take I, me back yeah. you know tell me those blood sweat and tears right those stories to get you there so, yeah because you didn't land on that podium no <laughs> no and it wasn't all roses no you know so and like no. i said i feel like sometimes you have your mindset on a goal and, and where you want to be and you think that all the other you know crud yeah. is just something to get through right. when I think you should cherish it and learn from it yes. and enjoy it. And, it. and it is such that, you know, it's the most yeah. beautiful part. So the, the ups and downs. So because we didn't really know each other yes. before we started, I have enjoyed so much learning <laughs> your journey. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you share it with everybody so, and just tell, you know, so yeah. how did you, how did you land get here? Where I am. Um, <laughs> so I'm the creative director of an interior design studio here in Peoria, um, Leslie Tyler Design. And it really was um, kind of a round circle, um, I guess, yep. <laughs> goal. I, I remember telling my parents when I was very young, my very first, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? Yeah. I was like, I want to be an artist. You know, I oh, wanted yeah. to, I loved coloring. <laughs> so in my opinion, I was going That's to figure out some way to, you make know, money coloring. make money <laughs> coloring so um i i obviously learned quickly that that wasn't quite as simple as, right. as opening up your coloring book but then i wanted to be an architect uh -huh. and i you know you kind of go through all of these things as right. a child um and kind of have always been involved in the arts. My parents did an amazing job of kind of exposing me to all types of different um, outlets in terms of, you know, violin. And I was, you know, in the symphony and then I did dance and then I did theater, you know, and then I was in math and science camp. So <laughs> I was all over the place. So um, going in high school, I wanted to be pre-med. I had changed, I, yeah, exactly, all over the place. So I wanted to be an OBGYN. I was like convinced that was what I was going to do. Um, and actually right before I went to, I graduated from Illinois Wesleyan, mm -hmm. um, right before I went to school, my mom's like, well, if you had to wake up every day and do something, what would it be? Yeah. So I was like, 
well, I want to be in the arts. So I quickly switched. I was actually, I was accepted at West Point for pre-med, ended up going to Wesleyan for theater arts. So when I say I was all over the place, I had it's a complete like, hey, I get it. I, I want to do it all, Mom. Why, why can't I? So Why are you that. going to make me choose? Well, and then what's so crazy is I did theater arts, and then about junior year decided, oh, I actually like film better. And I had an yep. amazing um, faculty that encouraged that. So I was able to do a little bit of film, a little bit of theater, and, um, and then fell in love back with, I guess, homes. I, yeah. I guess I never fell out of it. I always enjoyed architecture. I enjoyed interiors. Um, but it wasn't until after I had my child, after I, we bought our first home, mm -hmm. that I was like, this is really what... This is it. This is what I really want to dig yeah. into. And so, it, you know, like I said, I, but I feel like all of those points along the way helped give me, at least, a better... I don't know, vision of yeah. what I really wanted to do. And I feel like they all played a role in that end goal. So well, it seems all over the board, but really it's not. You're just no. figuring out, figuring out how yeah, it exactly. goes together. Well, and making it make sense in our modern world. Yes. So sometimes, yeah. you know, your love is, you know, you kind of have to tweak it. You kind of have to turn it. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, it, it was such a beautiful journey that each of those points and each of those things made such Everything an impact in my life. Everything makes you get yeah, to here, who you right? are. So, all paths lead to here. Exactly, exactly. So that, that's it's kind of funny. my journey and that's kind of what all those little things played a role in where I am today. But I would like to learn yes. about yours as well because I know that oh, you yeah. own, yeah, a boutique. You, th but you think OBGYN and, art, and yeah. art are two different things. Wait till you hear my journey. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so it's funny because I am kind of the opposite. Like, okay. I would have said I'm not creative at all, uh -huh. and which is why I'm so drawn to creative people because I want to learn. Like I want to know <laughs> how you do this and how, do, how your brain really works. <laughs> and it's like I love that you can see things that other people can't see. Uh -huh. Well, I can see things that other people can't see, but it's in a different way. It's in a different world. Like I can, I can take all these pieces and put them together. And now I finally have figured out how all my pieces fit yeah. together. But um, I was that kid that was like the super serious. My favorite toy when I was a kid was a brief case that I yes. took from my mom yes. she was going to college and she had this cool briefcase I will never I still have it like so, I will never forget this oh no, thing you can't. and I would take it and I'd play I'd make my sister my cousins and everybody play play business, business. is what we played so I knew that I wanted to go into business <laughs> yeah. and I have had like you amazing mentors amazing mm -hmm. teachers along the way um, I had a high school teacher that encouraged me really to I mean she was the first woman entrepreneur that I ever met yes, like yes. you didn't I didn't even know what that was yeah. I thought business was you go work for somebody right. and you carry a briefcase that's what you do exactly <laughs> and um, so the world that I saw um, uh, that I thought I could fit in was banking like the most serious, boring <laughs> hog. Like I, I love the idea of wearing a suit to work uh -huh. every day yeah. and sitting and playing on a computer. Yes. Like that was just cool to me. So that's what I went to school for. I went okay. to Missouri State um, and I majored in finance and business administration. So lots of accounting and economics and like very serious business stuff. Business stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I was a serious business person and yeah. I was going to be a vice president of a bank before I was 30 and it was going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I did. Um, I got I got pretty close, but then I had kids yes. at 28, yep. and that was it. That was not my plan, but that's what happens. And suddenly, working for somebody else was not working right. for me. Yeah, like I just I, as much as I loved it, and as much as I has had amazing mentors in that world, and I, I thought I would take that path, my life changed. Yes. And, and that's so beautiful. Yeah, you know? I, I had to change with it. Like, mm -hmm. you have to grow with it. So that's when um, I left the, the bank and decided to be a stay-at-home mom. And that lasted all of, like, 30 seconds before <laughs> yes. I was going crazy. Yes. And I was like, I need something to put all of this need energy an yes. into because I'm losing it. Uh -huh. So um, I did not know that this other industry existed where I could work in direct sales. And so I started uh, with a handbag company called Michi. Okay. And I was like, perfect, I can have a business, I can work from home, mm -hmm. and then when my kids go to school, then I'll go back to my real job. Like, this is just gonna be something fun that I can do. Right, right. That's kind of businessy, but once I got into it, and again, amazing mentors showed mm -hmm. me along the, way, the journey, um, I was like, wow, you can really control your destiny with this. Like, you yeah. control when you work, how you work. Yes, all, it's and, like limitless. And suddenly that opened my, whole world yeah. and now I, I and you once you get yeah. the bug I think you can't, you can't once you back. know that that limitless you possibility yeah, you can't and then that so so from banking to handbags uh-huh okay right Obvious. makes total Obvious. sense <laughs> and uh so did that for seven years and then that company just abruptly closed and oh. of course I was devastated mm -hmm. um but 
I sat back because now my kids are in school mm -hmm. and I was like, well, I could go back to banking. Right. What do I like to do? Right. Okay. I like helping women start businesses. I like figuring out complex problems. Mm -hmm. I like um, being around people and connections and all that kind of stuff. So I just kept mulling that over. And I am not somebody that spends a lot of time in like beauty and fashion and that kind of stuff. <laughs> right. Like, Maybe been in a salon 10 times in my life. <laughs> and then I decided to open one. Right. You're like, that's there you what go. you do. That's obvious. Yes. Um, Again, <laughs> obvious, obvious choice. <laughs> right, right. I was, I was sitting in a salon getting my hair done for my brother's yeah. wedding. And I was kind of just having this quiet moment with myself. Uh -huh. And it was like somebody slapped me in the face and uh -huh. said, right here, right. this is where you're supposed to be. Wow. And, and I'm like, yeah. I looked to my sister and I said, a voice just told me I'm going to beauty school. And she's like, okay, we are going to get you committed because that doesn't even make any sense. Right, right, because she played with you yes, she's playing like, business for all those years. You didn't even own Barbies. Like, come on. Right, right. You can't do that. Right. <laughs> so right. so I thought that's what I was supposed to do. And I, mm -hmm. I went to beauty school for okay. a day. I was going to enroll and I was like, I can't do this. I can't, I can't pretend. Right. That this is what I'm supposed to do. So right. I thought maybe I'll just coach other people. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, like, it's the the circumstances that had to happen for me to end up where I am. It's like a whole nother. I, I don't know. I can't explain it. Mm -hmm. But either way, anyway, everything lined up. Mm -hmm. And I went to go look at a salon for a friend. Wow. And two days later, I signed the lease. <gasps> So now I'm a salon owner. Yes. And it is like, it was like I was perfectly designed right. to do this. And the thing, right? absolutely. And then what I hear is that all of those little tiny steps, although unexpected, yes. led you to where you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you have to honor those things yep. and kind of submit to letting your journey be its journey. Yeah. You know, even though you might not know each step, like trusting that. That it all works out. It like will. the dots all line up when yeah. you look back. When you look back, yeah. You now in the see. midst of it, you're probably like, I am I'm like losing my mind. I'm like hanging onto the wheel right. trying to keep <laughs> right. it on the road. Right. And White it's knuckling. pulling me this way. Right. And But, you you know, Eventually, to me, that's such a beautiful, beautiful thing. Yeah. And, and, and fellow mother yes. that, you know, sometimes we have this idea in our minds of how things are going to go. And, you know, that to me is such a beautiful change, of course. Yes. That sometimes yeah. it's an unexpected, you know, addition that you're like, oh, wait. Well. Hmm. hmm. I can do things right. this it, way or that way. That way. Or, yeah. or make my own schedule. You know, that right. was something that you valued and, you know, I yeah. value as well. And I feel like any mother out there values being able to be there for your child yeah. and also be, you know, someone in your own identity as yes. well. So yes. still having, you know, yeah, you're not just a mother, you right. know, it's like, I, I have other talents, <laughs> you know, I mean, but, but very important too. And right. you know, something that's not going to keep you from them. So I just, like I said, to me, your journey is just something that should be honored and yes. I'm just so excited that we have now a platform for that oh, and we I can know. you know talk to other business owners and really get into that nitty-gritty and it's like okay we know that yeah. you're successful we know that you own this business yes. but let's let's talk about beforehand yeah I want to know all the times you failed yeah mm -hmm. I want to know what uh missteps you made and and right. then how you course corrected I want to know how did you fit all those pieces together because that's right. what I kept saying right I have all the pieces I just can't figure out how, how they all work 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 and yeah and I think that that is that that is so I, I guess you can take away so much from that mm -hmm. because then I feel like even if your path is not exactly as someone right. else's you can kind of trust that like oh, okay well this person obviously went from you know business to beauty school but then it all seemed to work out and I'm sure that those yeah. business practices oh very helpful very <laughs> helpful very hel I feel like I should have gone to business school I'm like no that was a smart choice yeah. there but yeah I mean and even if they seem you know but I feel like a lot of times in our minds, we think that, you know, the doctors always wanted to be doctors right. and that's what they did. And that's what, you know, but it, sometimes they're not. And, no. and sometimes it's something different. And sometimes you think you were going to be a doctor yeah. and you ended up, you know, not even remotely right. <laughs> interested in well, that. Well, and so. every successful person I talk to, mm -hmm. they all say the same things. Have you noticed that? Like, oh, yeah. that they're, they're like, all the same things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think that the perseverance and the keep taking that next step mm -hmm. and don't giving up, the, yeah. don't giving up, yeah. not giving up uh, yeah. um, is, is just, it's vital. And I feel right. like that's, I feel like the difference between yeah. making it, and not necessarily each decision that you make, but just the fact that you have to keep going. Right. You know, right. that's the main thing is if you stop, then that's then when you're, yeah. that, that's when, then <laughs> that's you're, when you're done. Yeah. yeah. But if you keep going, then those things yeah. will, will lead you to where you're supposed to be. Yeah. So, and no, that, that's what I want to bring on this show yeah. is helping people understand the evolution mm -hmm. that you go through personally, mm -hmm. because 
until I started talking to people, and honestly, you have to be a little vulnerable to be able to say like, I'm scared to death. Right. <laughs> right. I am terrified. Right. And then when, some, when Reagan says, me too. Then you don't feel like so crazy. Like, oh. You're like, okay, we're all crazy. And, but then it makes you a little less scared, right? Yes, it does. Because then you're like, there's somebody else out there and they don't know what they're doing either. And right. guess what? They're not, you know, committed right. or something like that. I know. They're making it work. And, you know, I feel like it's, you know, the platform of I've Decided has been oh, so vital. That's, that's why I go to the meetings. Oh, yeah. Because so then they, you can <laughs> have that, like, hey, are we on, like, okay, we're, we're all on at least the same crazy right. boat. But there's other people there's on the boat. With people, me. there's on other the weirdos. Like, right, I right. feel so weird when I'm around other people that I'm like, I can't explain why I have to do this. I right. can't explain it. No, because and if you look at, you know, a lot yes. of times you're like, well, you got a degree, you yeah. know, you could you could easily get any job and then not I, have to yeah. worry about it, not stay up at late at night. And I feel like that bug that you found when it's like, yeah. I, wait, I've got limitless possibilities. Yeah. Like, and I don't have a cap on, right. you know, I mean, it's not, I'm not all about money, but even income. Like, well, I don't, yeah. I can. I the can do sky's the I limit. Want. Who knows? I yeah. don't know. I always tell my mom, I'm like, I'm a millionaire. I yeah. just don't have all my money. Yet. I just haven't. You know? I haven't collected it right. yet. It's not it's liquid assets available. But yeah, <laughs> not liquid. <laughs> right. Exactly. But but yes, I think that that you yeah. know, knowing um, that you you can just basically create your own destiny, create something, and yes. you, there is no you know, I guess cap on where you know yeah. you're going to be and, and what you're going to like, do. No, I that's I said that to one of my my old boss who was an amazing mentor mm -hmm. at the bank to me, and after you know, everything happened. He's like, come back, come back. And yeah. I said, you can't pay me what I'm worth now. Right. Like I've seen. Right. You've seen the light I've and you're like, I'm sorry. Side. But yeah. And, and not that, yeah. you know, entrepreneurship is for everyone because oh, it no, does. It takes not. some it's... grit and it takes some grind and muscle. But I feel like regardless of where your goal is, yeah. if it's in business or if it's in something else, yeah. you know, you just got to keep keep at it keep and putting one foot in front of the other yes. in front and of the I other. feel like hopefully we can bring that that yes. story that keeps you you know motivated keeps you kind of checking back in to mm -hmm. know that like okay you know it, it'll be fine yeah. it'll be good and you know and even if I'm like way over here and I think my goals here Maybe, I, I maybe might end up that way yeah. or maybe that's not the, where I'm supposed to be right. in the first place you know and I feel yeah. like even like for me if I would went to medical school like I said I was accepted at West Point, like yeah. signed up, ready to go. And I'm like, you change your mind. Yeah. I was a little committed. Um, but now that I'm a mother, I'm yeah. like, I wouldn't want to do that, yeah. you know? And, yeah. and that's my personal preference. I'm not saying that's for everyone, for, yeah. but yeah, but happened for a reason. And I'm so, so grateful now that, you know, I did the work 10 years ago before yeah. she even got here that yeah. now I can be can do that. flexible. And now I can have my business, my interior design business, and I can still be at home most of the time with her. And it's, you know, like I said, everything works out. And That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, and likening owning a business, I, I do liken it to motherhood all the time because it is. <laughs> It, That's it the best practice. brings you so much joy, but it also makes you want to die. You at, know, at, like simultaneously, it's, it's like ha, it's not even like you know you get one and then the other emotion. It's like it's one like, good day, one bad day. It's, it's all together, but yes. yeah, it, and, and I feel like that's yeah part of it. And then, sometimes it's a thankless job. It's done. In the dark, yeah, where people the dark, don't see yeah. the work, in you the know, middle of the night, and you're up, yeah. you know, doing emails and getting this prepared yeah. because you've got to be ready for them when they wake right. up and be there. So yeah, I feel like yeah. it's juggling those things that I always, when I grew up, like you, kind yeah. of didn't realize there was women in that business world. ownership world. Yeah. But then now, as I'm getting older, and I'm hoping it's just because the tides are changing, yeah. that there's so many women yes. that are doing it, and so many mothers that we're are doing it. We're moving in the right direction yes. there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. I feel like we're going to be not, the cheerleaders. It's not about owning a business. It's about choosing your destiny, like whatever you want. Right. You can right. get. So right. that's that's what I like about I've Decided, is we have people from all these all different, different worlds. Yeah. I mean, Yeah, and like I said, amazing. even if it's, you know, Losing weight, getting healthy, you yeah. know, whatever, whatever, it whatever it is, whatever your goal is. I feel like there's, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll just be here. We'll, you we'll go through all of those <laughs> yes. with yes. you on yes. the journey. And so I hope that people have got to know yes. us a little I bit better. You know us. <laughs> I know why we're here, what we'll be talking about. Um, okay. We're going to be having hosts. And I think if there's, I don't know if you can tell them how to submit, if they've got ideas. Yeah. yeah. So we were kind of talking about this, like, what would you want to know it, as you were getting ready to start the journey? If you're thinking about doing something and you have a question for us or, you know, how do I, how do I get connected? How do I find a mentor? How right. do I 
apply for a business loan. Hey, guess right. what? I got some finance experience. Maybe yes. I could give you some yes. tips or yes. some names or, or whatever. Or if there's someone in the community that you want to yes. hear their story, we'll, we'll hunt them down and yes. hopefully please, bring them on. Yes, please share that. Um, just go to the I've Decided community page on Facebook. Type in I've Decided and the community page will pop up there. If you're already a member of the I've Decided community, you already have access to all of that. But if yes. you're not, you need to check it out yes. because... Gosh, for twelve ninety five a month, that is like change your life kind of access to it, these it really different is. things. It really if is. you are not in the I've Decided community, do that first, and then come watch us second. <laughs> right, 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 right. So. so I'm Michelle Bohm yes, here. I'm with my Reagan friend. Ward. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us on the journey, and we will yes. be back here the first Tuesday of every single month. You can find us uh, old episodes on PeoriaLife.com or on I've Decided. Thank you again for joining us, and we will see you next month. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> PeoriaLife.com.